With nearly 4,000 people dying of tuberculosis each day around the world, public health officials say TB control efforts urgently need new drugs. The clinical trials being launched by the TB Alliance at eight sites in Africa and South America will test a new drug regimen against this deadly and highly contagious respiratory infection. This new regimen deploys a new antibacterial drug that promises to kill the TB bacillus more quickly in combination with a known frequently used drug. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases, says the regimen will be tested against both drug-sensitive and drug-resistant strains of TB. So this is an important step forward in the broad quest that we have now for several years to develop not only new individual drugs but drug regimens for tuberculosis. Dr. Mel Spiegelman is president of the Global Alliance for TB Drug Development. He believes the new regimen could transform worldwide TB treatment efforts. He says the new treatment cycle would be shorter and less costly than the existing 6 to 30 months regimen of today's multi-drug cocktail. It means that we've gotten to the next step and much closer to the time when we can ultimately treat TB just like any other ordinary infection, which means over a period of just maybe a few weeks at the most with simple drugs. Dr. Janet Woodcock of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration says TB can be better controlled if there is a robust pipeline of new drugs against the disease because over time the bacterium becomes resistant to different drug combinations. Regulators around the world need to really think long and hard about what the pathways are to get the drugs on the market, both new combinations of tuberculosis drugs and new single tuberculosis drugs. I think one of the biggest challenges is to find the right drug uh, and improve the right drug and uh, the regime, uh, the diagnostic regimes, as well as then having the capacity in countries to be able to deliver that to the key populations that are affected. Robert Clay of the U.S. Agency for International Development notes there are currently 10 experimental TB drugs in clinical trials, research largely supported by funding from the U.S. and other donor countries. But experts say even after the drugs are approved, it can be years before they become part of regular TB treatment regimens. The entire chain from drug development to delivery must be streamlined, experts say, if the battle against TB is to be won. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.